Welcome. Welcome to the second session of the 56th Annual Convocation Ceremony of St. Peter College of Applied Arts and Technology. I will now introduce the member of the Board of Governors who are with us today, and I would ask that they remain standing if able until after the members of the College Administration are also introduced. Jean Piccinato, Chair. Warren Beck. Paula Coro Battagello. Gay Rye. Gary Rossi, Vice Chair. Gideo Sovereign, Past Chair. And today's guest speaker, Phil Grado, Alumni of Distinction 2023. I would also like to introduce the members of the College Administration. President, Dr. Patricia France. Wasim Habash, Senior Vice President, Academic and College Operations. John Fairley, Vice President, College Communications and Community Relations and Executive Director, Foundation. Mark Jones, Vice President, Finance and Chief Financial Officer. Ron Segan, Vice President, International Relations, Campus Development and Student Services. Joe Siriani, Vice President, Human Resources, Safety, Security and Facilities Management. Mike Silvaggi, Vice President, Academic and Registrar. Dr. Lindy Prendy, Executive Director, Center for Academic Excellence and Quality Assurance. And from St. Clair College Alumni Association, Adam Ibrahim, Director. I would also like to introduce and acknowledge the amazing faculty from the Schools of Engineering Technology, Skilled Trades and Apprenticeships who have contributed to your success. I would now like to call upon St. Clair College President, Dr. Patty France to provide opening remarks. Thank you, John. On behalf of the college's administration and the entire St. Clair family of employees, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this convocation ceremony to our many guests who are in the audience or looking in via our live streaming broadcast and to the scholars who will be transformed from students into graduates when you cross the stage to receive your diplomas, certificates or degrees. Bear with me as I tell you a little story, please. Every year, the college honors a half dozen past graduates with their Alumni of Distinction Awards. One of the 2023 recipients of that program will be addressing you shortly as our guest speaker. I was surprised as I looked back on some of our recent Alumni of Distinction because some of them graduated from academic programs that have absolutely nothing to do with their subsequent professional careers. For instance, just to name a few, one of this year's recipients was Bob Bellachico. You may know him as one of this area's most popular TV broadcasters. So, Bob graduated from St. Clair's journalism program, right? No. He earned his diploma in 1994 in business advertising, but as far as we know, he never designed or sold a single ad in his life. Ray Tangade of the Electrical Engineering Technology Program, class of 1972, was named an alumni of distinction in 2003, but not for his work in electrical engineering. He was recognized instead for being the president of Toyota Canada. Maybe the most unusual alumni of distinction bio is that of Dave Merhedge, who was honored in 2021. Dave graduated from the business marketing program in 2003. In the two decades since then, did he become a hugely successful commercial entrepreneur or the CEO of a huge retail chain? No. Dave took his business marketing diploma and became one of North American's top comedians and comic actors. Maybe my own story is pertinent as well. My first post-secondary credential was from St. Clair College in computer programming, yet here I am today standing before you as one of Ontario's two dozen college presidents. What's my point in telling you these rather interesting stories? It's to emphasize to you that your college education, your St. Clair 
experience prepared you for more than the occupational field associated with your specific academic program. We believe that we have instilled in you also the fundamental skills, work habits, entrepreneurial spirit, and self-confidence to tackle unforeseen but exciting new opportunities and advancements throughout your impending careers. We also hope that we've created a love of lifelong learning so that you'll keep up to speed and up to date with all of the evolving knowledge and skills in your chosen occupations during the coming years. So, as we send you off into the world, many initially on a professional path related to your academic program, please remain open to the unimagined and surprising opportunities that will spring up throughout your life. Many of them may at the time seem to be off track and even crazy challenges, but believe me, they'll be worth the effort, even the courage that you may have to exert to grasp them. I believe in you, St. Clair College believes in you, and I'm quite certain that the family and friends who are with us today believe in you, just as they believed in you and encouraged you throughout your recent academic quest. Moms, dads, grandparents, sisters, brothers, husbands, wives, significant others, and friends. Today is also a very important day and as much as an achievement for you as well as we recognize the invaluable support that you have provided to these graduates during the past year or two or three of their college careers. All of you have the college's appreciation and gratitude for your contributions to their success. Speaking of families, as graduates, you'll be joining a new one today. As soon as you cross the stage and have your diploma in hand, you will have acquired about 130,000 new relatives in the form of all of your fellow graduates from the college's 55 years of existence. Today, you'll automatically become a member of the St. Clair College Alumni Association. Please stay in touch with the association in the years to come because we want to track your adventurous journey through life if you're ever to be nominated for Alumni of Distinction Award. I am confident that there are potential, countless rewarding, exciting career achievements that await you. Congratulations once again, graduates, and thank you. Thank you, President France. Jean Piccinato, Chair from the Board of Governors, and will now deliver greetings from the Board. <clears throat> On behalf of St. Clair College Board of Governors, I congratulate you on your graduation today. Your hard work, dedication, and perseverance has paid off. You should be incredibly proud of your accomplishments. As you walk across the stage, you will receive a tangible symbol of the effort and determination that you exhibited as you work to earn your certificates, diplomas, and degrees. You have proven to yourselves and the world that you have what it takes to succeed. And we are privileged to have played a part in your journey. At St. Clair College, we believe in rising above the ordinary. Our marketing and branding slogans reflect this with phrases like St. Strong and Start Here, Go Anywhere. We strive to provide students with an exceptional educational experience that prepares them for success in whatever path they choose. Since 1967, St. Clair College has been committed to providing our students the tools they need to achieve their goals. We are proud to have been part of your journey and look forward to seeing all that you will accomplish in the future. As you progress in your careers, remember the lessons that you learned at St. Clair College. Use the skills you have acquired to positively impact the world and continue to strive for excellence in everything that you do. I want to personally thank the friends and family that are here today or watching online.
for their encouragement and support throughout your time at St. Clair College. We join together to celebrate your accomplishments. The board would also like to acknowledge and thank our faculty and staff for their role in your journey. Once again, congratulations, class of 2023, on your graduation. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and we look forward to seeing you rise above the ordinary. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. I would now like to reintroduce John Fairley, Vice President, College Communications and Community Relations and Executive Director, St. Clair College Foundation, who will introduce our guest speaker. This is the 30th year in which the college has recognized the successes and contributions of former students who have excelled in their vocation and contributed to their community. Each alumnus of distinction have been on a unique journey since they graduated from the college. Today, you'll hear from Phil Grotto. He's from the class of 1997. Should I have said that? Okay. You look very young for that. 1997, Mechanical Engineering Technology. He is the Advanced Projects Technical Lead at Stellantis Auburn Hills in Michigan. Phil is an accomplished automotive engineer and technical leader passionate about developing exciting Dodge and Jeep products that generate the brand passion and higher customer satisfaction. He currently serves as advanced projects technical lead for the next Gen E segment SUVs at Stellantis, where he leads the engineering organization to develop innovative and high quality vehicles. Phil also joined the company. When he joined the company in 1998, he's had various engineering positions and with increasing responsibility within product development, where he's worked closely with global engineering teams. Notable roles include chief engineer for the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L and senior manager for the vehicle cost engineering. He was performance manager for the 2015 Jeep Renegade in the Fiat 500X vehicle integration and supervisor for the next gen CUV Compass Advance uh, Vehicle Engineering. You're a whole car lot. You got everything on there. Phil's education background includes a diploma of mechanical engineering technology from us here at St. Clair College, a bachelor's degree in engineering and master's degree in business administration from Lawrence Tech at University. Please welcome our 2023 alumnus of distinction representing the School of Engineering Skilled Trades, ladies and gentlemen, Phil Grotto. Thank you, John Furley, President Patty France, the Board of Governors, graduates, loved ones, and distinguished faculty members. It's an absolute honor for me to be here with you today, and I'm so grateful to St. Clair College for allowing me to share a few thoughts with you directly, the 2023 graduating class from St. Clair College. I'd like to begin by saying I am a proud alumnus of St. Clair College, graduating as stated earlier in 1997 from the Mechanical Engineering Technology Program. I currently work at Stellantis in Auburn Hills, Michigan as the chief engineer, um, where as the chief engineer, as mentioned, I launched the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, as we know today. Um, I also had other projects that were quite exciting, including the Jeep Renegade. Today, I lead the next generation of ESUVs through our uh, development programs, which will be our future programs that will become in the next three to five years. I've been married for 23 years, have three beautiful daughters. My passion is cars, period. And given my responsibilities, I believe I do have one of the best jobs in the world at the moment. Over the past 26 years, my journey is not one that has been necessarily planned nor expected. It was a culmination of events and principles that I was taught from the halls of St. Clair College and from work mentors all along the way. In fact, I recall a specific turning point in my life while at St. Clair College that I will never forget. You see, back in the day, I liked to party a bit and skip classes from time to time. Uh, so one time, because of that, I didn't do so well in an exam. I went to my professor and I asked for some extra credit to improve my grade. This professor told me straight, son, if you're not going to take this program seriously, 
perhaps Sinclair College is not for you. What he was saying was, you are no more special than anyone else here, and we will flunk you. This moment was a turning point for me, because he was right. I wasn't any more special than the rest of the class. I was not getting any special treatment. All I knew was that I loved cars, and Sinclair College was my path to fulfilling that dream. This realization, of course, was enough to uh, change my mindset and remain motivated on the path to success. Because in the end, there are no free rides, so don't expect them. Luckily, I, like you, arrived at graduation, and it's important to look at how much you've accomplished so far. Your teachers, your friends, family, your life experiences have defined the person that you are today. Directly or indirectly, they helped you achieve this important moment in your life. Stop, breathe, be proud, enjoy this moment. The next chapter of your story is about to begin. So right now, many of you are likely having some emo mixed emotions of worry, anxiety, indecision, curiosity. Questions like, are my career plans after St. Clair College good enough to make a good living? And will they allow me to do the things I want to do in life? Will I even like this career? What if I hate it? With everything so expensive these days, will I have or will I make enough money? These are the thoughts and feelings I had 26 years ago and now realize that it was good to have them. Of course, there was all, also the immediate question, where is the graduation party tonight and who's going? Again, mixed thoughts and emotions. But looking back, I realized that those concerns was what drove me to continually seek advice, ask questions, talk to people doing the work that I was going into. I can't emphasize that enough. Talk to people that are gonna do the work that you're going into. It's really critical. And I, want, and I was still learning even after I left St. Clair College because the practical nature of the education that I received was instilled in me. I am here to tell you as living proof that the older you will benefit from what St. Clair College has instilled in you that is not obvious today. Believe me, it will shock you when you look back one day. In the future, many of you will lead significant important projects. Projects that will protect lives or help people feel at ease by removing the stress of a leaky pipe or an out-of-control robotic arm at an assembly plant that's destroying millions of dollars of material. And the older you will nurture the young by teaching and passing along your life lessons, donating to local charities just because you want to give back and say thank you for this great privileged journey you've been on. You can't see what the future holds, but I can tell you the older you will be grateful for this graduation day and this significant and specific accomplishment. As you travel out in the world, here are a few words of advice. Always treat people with dignity and respect and thank people for what they do. It's free and goes a long way. Focus on what's, in your, focus on what's within your control and do your best every day. The rest will take, take care of itself. Don't worry about what's not in your control. Of course, follow your passion, but I'll tell you there will be times when the project or job will be frustrating. Push through those challenges because they will be temporary and will become your most memorable and rewarding experiences. Trust me, I know. And of course, this is an important one. Be a little selfish and keep adding skills to your toolbox. Learn as much as you can, as fast as you can. Once you get comfortable in a position, change job positions. Get uncomfortable again so you can quickly learn more and add more tools to your toolbox. Money. You've heard this a thousand times. Don't worry about money. As your toolbox grows, so will your paychecks. I promise. Your finances will balance out if you live within your means. Remember the old cliche, the more you make, the more you spend. It's true. I've had roughly the same amount of money in my spending account for the last 25 years. It might have something to do with my wife and daughter and the Amazon accounts and the guy visiting every day. But nonetheless, we live within our means and we're fine. Lift those around you as you climb. You are going to climb as you go through your careers. Make sure that you bring those and help those along around you that help you with your new positions. That's how the best teams are built. Okay. So in closing, the final few words, your potential is untapped, your future is unwritten, and you will have a journey to take that, to take that is not limited by anyone or anything. You just have to buckle up and focus. Above all, enjoy what you do. Take pleasure and satisfaction in what you achieve. 
This is the foundation of, and key to a happy life. Whatever your next steps, I invite you to see your studies here as part of a lifetime of learning. Congratulations, thank you for your time, enjoy the ride. You already have a great start. Thank you, Phil. I would now like to call upon Jean Piccinato to present the Board of Governors Medal and the Governor General's Medal. Thank you. The Board of Governors Medal is awarded yearly to a graduate who demonstrates the most outstanding academic achievement. I would ask Ryan Tracy to please join me on stage. On behalf of St. Clair College, I'm a, I am pleased to announce that Ryan Tracy, as the recipient of the 2023 Board of Governors Medal. Ryan is a graduate from the Mechanical Engineering Technology Automotive Product Design Program. Ryan maintained a 4.0 GPA during his three years of study, all while participating in additional campus initiatives. Ryan is an enthusiastic program ambassador who volunteered during the college's open house where he supplied a sophisticated major virtual product for program promotional purposes to help recruit future students into the ADP program. Ryan demonstrated an ability to work independently and collab collaboratively within the program. Ryan is described as an active learner who handled the rig rigorous program with ease, often providing support to his peers. Ryan act as a, acted as a tutor, mentor, for several junior students in the Mechanical Engineering Technology ADP program. We are grateful to Ryan for his advocacy efforts on behalf of all the students and his commitment to his program and community. We wish Ryan the best and continued success as he continues his studies in mechanical engineering at the University of Windsor. Congratulations, Ryan. The Governor General's Medal is the highest award that can be conferred upon a full-time graduating student and recognizes outstanding academic achievement on the part of its recipient. I would ask Felipe Mansour Kunamnar to uh, please join me on stage. On behalf of Sinclair College, I'm pleased to announce that Felipe Monsour Krunauer as the recipient of the 2023 Governor General's Medal. Today, uh, Felipe will graduate from the Electromechanical Engineering Technician Robot Robotics Program. During his two-year program, Felipe maintained a 4.0 GPA while providing tutoring sessions to classmates. Felipe expanded the tutoring level previously offered in this program uh, in the uh, pro Programmable Robotics Controllers and Robotics Lab. Felipe often remained after class to review lessons and engage with his peers to ask thought-provoking questions and is described by his faculty as a remarkable student with a deep passion for learning. In open lab time in the Robots 1 course last summer, 
I like this part. Felipe wrote a pro robot program to pour simulated coffee into a Tim Hortons cup, stir it, and even put a lid on it. A demonstration video of this robot program was taped and uploaded on LinkedIn and received almost 1,500 views from industry professionals worldwide. He has pushed the limits of what is possible within our labs. His creativity and projects drives others to be better and try harder. Each of his projects has a friendly competitive nature and has raised the bar for all. On behalf of Sinclair College, I am proud to present this medal in recognition of Felipe's academic achievements and his commitment to his program. Congratulations, Felipe. I would now like to reintroduce Senior Vice President, Academic and College Operations, Wasim Habash, to acknowledge our award winners. Good afternoon, Saints. The Faculty Academic Award is designed to recognize a graduating student in each program, full or part-time, who has best demonstrated academic excellence. The Student Leadership Award recognizes the graduating student in each program, again, full or part-time, who best combines academic achievement and leadership. The recipients of the Faculty Academic Award and the recipients of the Student Leadership Award will be acknowledged when their names are announced during the ceremony. I would like to congratulate the recipients of these special awards. Graduates, convocation is a formal recognition of your achievements. You have worked very hard, so celebrate this accomplishment. It is very well deserved. There is, however, one other group here today that also reserve, deserve to be recognized. These are the remarkable, dedicated faculty here at St. Clair College who have contributed to your success. Graduates, I would ask that you please join me in thanking your faculty for all their efforts to make this day a reality for you. Thank you. We've now come to the formal part of our ceremony where the diplomas, certificates, and degrees will be awarded and become official documents of the college. Would the graduates please stand if able? I would like to call upon President Dr. Patty France and Vice President Academic Registrar Michael Savaji to the podium. Graduates, please stand. Good afternoon. Madam President, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled have qualified in all respects for diplomas, certificates, and degrees by successfully completing curricula offered by several divisions of St. Clair College. They have been recommended by the faculty to be awarded diplomas, certificates, and degrees in recognition of their academic accomplishments. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of St. Clair College, I do hereby confer, confer on you your respective diplomas, certificates, and degrees with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Madam President, on behalf of the graduates not present today, I request that you confer their diplomas, certificates, and degrees in absentia. I so do. Congratulations, graduates. Please be seated.
During the next part of our program, we will present the graduates individually to the Board of Governors and President France to receive congratulations. While the first of our graduates are making their way to the stage, I would like to tell you about the Stole and the Hood. The Stole and the Hood have a long history within academics, originating in 15th century Europe in the ages of great artists, scholars, and explorers of the Renaissance. Today, the Stole and Hood symbolize recognition of an individual is now prepared to assume a responsible and creative role in the community. St. Clair College graduates of one, two, or three-year certificates or, or diplomas receive a custom stole that is draped over their shoulders to signify acceptance into the alumni community and denote achievement in academics. St. Clair College graduates of a four-year honors bachelor's degree receive a custom hood to signify acceptance into the alumni community and denote achievement in academics. The color of the velvet trim indicates the area of study in which the degree was granted. Both the hood and the stole are specifically designed for our graduates and celebrate tradition within St. Clair College and Saints Nation. Members of the Board of Governors, on the recommendation of our teaching faculty, it is my pleasure to present to you the graduates for diplomas, certificates, and degrees from the School of Engineering Technologies. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Architectural Technology Program. Ethan Lehu Firth. <laughs> Joan Lopez Romero. Santiago Paz Ramirez. Brendan Berg. Matthew Charbonneau. Connor Lofthouse. Brooke DiGiovanni. Landon Kipfer. Ryan Lamarck. Evan Fields. Jeremy Birch. Olivia Burney, graduating with academic distinction also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Carly Snaden, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Jose Gamaliel Gordillo Jimenez. Mirna Saad, graduating with Academic Distinction. Basma Yuno. Mariam Jamma. Fiona Drawn. Madi Shaker. Rand Kalaf. Malak Yusuf. Fatima Choker. Zahara Al Janabi. Aicha Sada. Ragged Amran. Shahid Al Haik <laughs> Biomedical sorry, I have the honor to present the graduates of the Biomedical Engineering Technology Equipment and Devices. Jalal Barchale. 
receiving the Student Leadership Award. Samantha Charlito. Brady Ogerman. Daniel Molesky. Deacon Klassen. Jacob Fitzpatrick. Wissam Musa Toma. Saif Naif. Doreen Jukpen, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Olabambo Obiwali. Nicolas Olalare. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Chemical Laboratory Technology Program. Chantel Cyprian. Jasmine El Kib. Sara Jama. Peter Sheena. Kayla Slyman, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Shelby Razelle. Henry Kling. Julian Alfluente. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Civil Engineering Technology Program. Andrew Preston. Justin Wiebe. Michael Youssef. Josh Jamison. Wissam Beatty, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Student Leadership Award. Rafal Nissan, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Rafal Ruban. Supawadi Matsambat. Catherine Katu. Miriam Katu. Elias Osman. Mohammed Al Rabak. Hunter Porter. And Martin Fatty. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Civil Engineering Technology, sorry, the Construction Engineering Technician Program. Sergio De La Cruz, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Luis Delgado Garcia. Rafael Xavier Reiter. Arbaz Abdul Qadir Malik. Parth Chikalia.
Deep Rakesh Kumar Udwadia. Smit Kumar Paresh Bai Donda. Yogi Ramesh Bai Jasani. Jay Kaushal Nayak. Harsh Kumar Amrut Bai Patel. Vaibhav Kumar Ashok Bai Patel. Prince Raj Janak Raj Rathod. Satwinder Kaur, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Vandana Sridhar. Harkaran Harkaran. Vikash Singh. Amit Amit. Kamal Kishore. Andro Alkayat. Rene Adolfo Menhivar Morales. Zachary Dick. Pedro Torres Arido. Elias Munoz Arquia. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Construction Project Management Program. Bahir Haj Khalil, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Student Leadership Award. Anne Maria Jose. Aparna Jose. Nikunj Kunt. Abhinav Mahesh. Mohammed Zayan Mansouri. Ivan Medos Tahada. Abhinesh Muthamani. Vidi Subhashbhai Patel, graduating with academic distinction. Jervisha Phipps, graduating with academic distinction. Jewel Prakash. Monil Ravani. Vikram Singh Thakur. Samuel Chidozie Uzoma. Vijay Raghav Varadappa Kumar. Dayara Weedthuper De Campos, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Electromechanical Engineering Technician Robotics Program. Ishid Ahalpara. Parth Patel. Kalshik Bharat Bai Kalkaloter. Maharshi Kumar Panchal. Harsh Kumar Patel. 
Sagar Kumar Bayani. Mithul Dabaria. Anwar Buarsh. Owen Kavanaugh. Vin Chi Lam. Felipe Monsors Krumenauer, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Governor General's Medal and the Faculty Academic Award. Jason Gerage, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Matthew Fields. Yutie Yin Dari. Daval Kumar Raj. Kuwar Naveen Chandra. Jaswinder Kaur. Ripudaman Singh. Sukpreet Singh. Alex Pandian Ilya Raja. Sanjay Jayabalakrishnan Priya. Christy Jose Kuriapili Jacob. Pritpal Singh. Sandeep Kumar. Shubham Hasmukbai Sadhu. Vikram Vikram. Ketul Dimple Kumar Patel. Rajveer Sin Hasmuksin Parmar. Sapin Rakesh Bai Patel. Janil Kumar Patel. Abhishek Upadye. Yash Paresh Kumar Trivedi. Aditya Rajesh Kumar Panchal. Karam Tofi. Manpreet Kaur. Ulysses Ferry Yumbi Tumcho. Shrey Paresh Kumar Vyas. Yohandraba Sanan. Cody Kassanindan. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Electrical, Electronic Engineering Technician Industrial Automation. Mohammed Iskender. <laughs> Namish Sharma. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Interior Design Program. Jamie Valence, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Mackenzie Doucette.
Serena Oliveira. Katherine Ferguson. Noor Alcaraguli, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Anam Rasul. Megan Goodman. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Mechanical Engineering Technology Automotive Product Design Program. James Horton. Joshua Kwiatkowski. Cody Malone. Kyle Fair. Ryan Tracy, receiving the Board of Governors Medal and the Faculty Academic Award and the Student Leadership Award. Joseph Degatti. Thompson Franco. Ding Yi Wang. Justin Johnson. Zine Albasam. Mohammed Albawadi. This concludes the graduates from the School of Engineering Technologies. Members of the Board of Governors, on the recommendation of our teaching faculty, it is my pleasure to present to you the, grad, the graduates for diplomas, certificates, and degrees from the School of Skilled Trades and Apprenticeships. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Automotive Service Technician Program. Gassim El-Noor. I have the honor to present the graduates in the General Machinist Program. Jacob Major. Jeremiah Gamponia. Cynthia Cooper. Oliver Swainson. I have the honor to present the graduates in the hairstyling program. Lori Lynn Guerin. I have the honor to present the graduates in the pre-apprenticeship truck, coach, and heavy equipment repair. George Allen Bruce Zarur. I have the honor to present the graduates in the pre-apprenticeship CNC Industrial Mechanic Millwright Program. Justine Allen. <laughs> Jennifer Holland, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Tracy Mohammed. Su Chin Ju. Madison Boyle.
Cassidy Atkinson. Mopkaling Makawadi. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Tool and Die Maker program. Dennis Mendoza, receiving the Student Leadership Award. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Carpentry and Renovation Techniques program. Zachary Clodier, graduating with academic distinction. Marie Lise Demena, graduating with academic distinction. Megan DiRese, graduating with academic distinction. Khalib Lowe, graduating with academic distinction. Teresa Soulier, graduating with academic distinction. Robert Trudell, graduating with academic distinction. Joseph Wilkin. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Electrical Techniques program. Emma Al-Tamimi, graduating with academic distinction. Trevor Miller, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Joanne Yulikny, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Melike Demirsi. Jackson Olasky. Kevin De Tomasis. Aiden Pye. Joshua Vanderland. Shadan Khan. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Technician Program. Hunter Edwards. John Din. Dakota Flax. Evan Fortier. Mohammed Halawa. Lawrence Hanna. Suleiman Jaro. Nicholas Maragudakis. Rania Mohammed. Christopher Moore. Hadi Musamani. Daniel Nguyen. Hassan Nizam. Amrit Pal Singh. Andrew Pham. Miles Philcox. Matteo Quattrini.
Abdul Rasul Samarai, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Leslie Turnbull. Gurkirpal Singh. Anmol Tiagi. Riley Tremblay. Ravi Kumar Ramesh Bhai Trivedi. Christopher Segan. George Wathier. Justin St. Pierre. Owen Stafford. Jackson Cuthbert. Dylan Chapsky. Gabrielle Angelini. Amir Alamiri. Esho Broblia. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Landscape Horticulture Program. Sydney Bachmeyer. <laughs> Chelsea Lynn Cartwright. <laughs> Caitlin Devos. <laughs> Rasika Galage. Graduating with academic distinction. Also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Thomas Kogel. Daniel Langlois. Irina Lee. Andrea Nickerson. Graduating with academic distinction. Mackenzie Iles. Tyler Ross, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Student Leadership Award. Irene Simonovich. Gurkirat Singh. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Mechanical Engineering Technician Industrial Program. Ashish Bardwaj. Augustine Jemphy. Samuel Tesfaya. Vivek Kumar Anilbhai Ahir. Yuvraj Sin Upendra Sin Thakur. Shvet Kumar Chowdhury. Neet Kumar Jayesh Kumar Patel. Dhruv Patel. Akshil Kumar Amrat Bhai Patel. Atik Akshaybai Patel. Neil Patel. Om Kumar Piyush Kumar Patel. Darshan Kumar Mukesh Bai Patel. Yash Kumar Dinesh Bai Patel. 
Yash Suresh Bhai Prajapati. Devansh Gajar. Aman Vijay Kumar Sadhu. Harmanjit Singh. Gurkirat Singh. Harmanpreet Singh Mataru. Gaurav Singh Mystery. Uduve Vidanelage Delina Siriwardana. Sukdev Singh. Jasteep Kaler. Roshan Faisal Mohammed. Thomas Quinlan, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Kyron Davidson. Aaron Kuypers. Colton Gagne. Braden TL. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Mechanical Technician CAD CAM program. Mark Azapardi, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Raj Desai. Milan Kumar Arvindbhai Goti. Marissa Haslam. Jason James. Vikram Jaswal. Rahul Jangri. Arshvir Singh Karir. Dinesh Kumar. Kenny Kwan. Subham Man. Tanmay Mitesh Kumar Neve. Atish Patel. Dhruv Dushyantbhai Patel. Urvish Kumar Bharat Kumar Patel. Vishal Kumar Manilal Patel. Askar Ram. Akshit Manish Kumar Shah. Zeel Krutesh Shah. Davninder Singh. Gurpinder Singh. Harpreet Singh. Jasraj Singh. Manjit Singh. Rajpreet Singh. Vishwajit Sin Mahendra Sin Solanki. Akash Suresh. Devesh Kirtibai Vora. Darshil Shyam Raja. Natish Kumar. K. 
Cade Quattroni. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Mechanical Techniques Precision Metal Cutting Program. David Novakovic. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Motive Power Technician Program. M. Gaith Al Sabia, receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Darsan Dharmarajan. Jilson George. Adam Guarnacha, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Jinsen Matthew. Smith Patel. Jobanpreet Saab. Tirth Harshad Kumar Solanki. Nathan Stevenson. Yuan Tian. Aiden Wallace Brooks. Christian Prinslow. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Plumbing Techniques Program. Muhammad Al Salama, receiving the Student Leadership Award. Shavane Brown. Dilpreet Singh Hari. Noah Kovac. Liam Lenahan. Ethan Parent. Warren Pinckney. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Welding Techniques Program. Dylan Bernardin. Eric Justin Carrion, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Robert Camden Finley. Carter Hewson. Bienfe Cambale. Cameron Linz. Sarah McLean. Nicolas Arturo Nolan Rollin. Ryan Olabusi, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Student Leadership Award. Jack Pavlich, graduating with academic distinction. Bradley Penner. Roger Ramos. Leif Runnels. Jack Scott. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Woodworking Technician Program. Diego Bernal. Shauna Boucher, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Student Leadership Award. Matthew Clark, 
graduating with academic distinction. Devin Cote. Jalen Dudley. Kai Dutton. Justin Edward. Giovanni Giliana, graduating with academic distinction. Emike Kadiri Omogbai. Jeffrey McAvoy. So Wing Ng, graduating with academic distinction, also receiving the Faculty Academic Award. Ivy Nguyen. Chantel Patrick. Devin Roback. Cornelia Scheibner, graduating with academic distinction. Victoria Scoyles. Sydney Whitehead. Genevieve Wimmer, graduating with academic distinction. This concludes the conferring of diplomas and certificates. At this time, I would like to reintroduce Adam Ibrahim, director of the St. Clair College Alumni Association. Greetings, graduates of St. Clair College, class of 2023. On behalf of the alumni board, I want to tell you how proud we are for you graduating from your studies. Here at St. Clair College during these unique times, you are now officially members of St. Clair College Alumni Association. You may wonder what that means for you. It is so much more than the years of wonderful memories of faculty, friends, and other events at St. Clair College. You have been on the foundation of graduates since 1967. You now have a huge network of alumni. This alumni family of 130,000 graduates provides you with a special connection wherever you go. You will be surprised by how many people you meet in your future who have graduated from St. Clair College. Our graduates not only live in our region, but also across the province of Ontario, many places in Canada, and around the world. So please stay connected with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Watch for our monthly newsletters that will keep you up to date on the life at the college and what's happening in the stories of many alumni. The Alumni Association holds annual events just for you, our alumni. We will launch an Alumni Perks app with the College Affinity Partners and businesses that will provide discounts and services for you to take advantage of. Watch for our announcements on our social media platform. The Alumni Association is proud to call you family. I, it, will stand, it will stand with the college for networking, upgrading, and meeting your needs as, you, as your journey officially begins from St. Clair College and decades to come. You are now part of the nation, Saints Nation, where we are all Saints strong. Congratulations. Thank you, Adam. At this time, I would like to reintroduce Dr. Lindy Prendy, Executive Director, Center for Academic, Academic Excellence and Quality Assurance. Thank you, John. 
Could the audience please rise, if able, for the closing reflection? Please join me in this closing reflection. Together we ask all our graduates be filled with joy and peace. May they have success and happiness throughout the years. May they bring honor and wisdom to their own lives, their families, their communities, and our country. And may they be filled with a desire to learn new things throughout their lives. We ask this according to the terms of your individual faiths. Please be seated. Well, this concludes the second session of the 56th Annual Convocation of St. Clair College. We ask that the audience please remain seated until the faculty and graduates have left the main floor. Graduates, your faculty who are in attendance are making themselves available for pictures with you. Please look for your program sign in the concourse level. Graduates, guests, family and staff, please enjoy today's reception sponsored by your Alumni Association immediately following the ceremony. Congratulations, class of 2023. Here at St. Clair College, uh, we pride ourselves in the variety of programs uh, we run here. Trades that we run are construction, industrial, service, two-year, three-year programs. Some of the programs have pathways to university degrees that we've had articulation agreements with the universities. So you, you can take the first two years here and then you can carry on to the university and finish the program there and get your degree. Engineering technologies, I guess, is an extension really of the skilled trades. It's more along the lines of the design and, you know, the, the startup process of manufacturing. So you're going to be more involved in the design aspect, for instance, automotive product design, where you're designing the product. You know, the fascia for the car, the dashboard for the car. You would be involved with actually coming up with the concept and designing that product so it can be manufactured. So the robotics lab that you see here behind us, you know, we really pride ourselves in the equipment that we have here because it, it gives the student the ability to do the, the hands-on component uh, and actually experience exactly what it's going to be like in the field. So as you see here, what the robot is doing, it's actually simulating spot welding. And you see that out in industry and that's what the student's learning. So when the students uh, finish this program, uh, they're pretty much plug and play into the industry and it gives them a, a huge advantage in getting a job in this industry. Power engineering is another very popular program. Very good jobs in the power engineering, but again, very much in demand. We have a steam lab here with a full-scale boiler. Again, you get your hands-on experience on-site, but with power engineering, you also have placement components. So you have to go to a facility and run a boiler and you get your placement hours and then you complete the program and you're ready to start your career. The field is very broad, but every program that we run here, I can tell you right now that the demand for jobs is there. This is an extremely exciting uh, venture that this community is embarking upon. It's a pilot program that is supported by OVEN with $500,000 that will allow us to uh, bring STEM training into grade schools and high schools. So there's gonna be over 800 students that are gonna get trained through this program, primarily in grades sevens and nine. And um, this is gonna be done with hands-on robotics 
and the program is being developed, the curriculum is being developed by some of the folks back there, faculty from St. Clair College, students from the Faculty of Education at, at the University of Windsor, and it will be delivered by students from St. Clair College, students from the Faculty of Education at, at the University of Windsor, and uh, the teachers in, the, um, in, in all the respective schools. And to prepare for that, we are gonna run a summer camp. We're gonna be working with them on initializing the curriculum and training them. And hopefully that opens up their minds to say, I wanna take this program, I wanna get into STEM into the future. So it's vitally important for the vitality of our economy, especially here in Windsor, Essex, that we have more technical education across the board. That's where the jobs are, that's where the opportunities are, and quite frankly, it's where the rewarding careers are. And that's where I, I always do my utmost to steer uh, the young people that I work with into the applied sciences. There's so much opportunity to have pride in your work. Say, I built that. I had a hand in making that happen. And so when it, there's a program like, like, like this one that where all the partners come together in, in Windsor and Essex County, great things are destined to happen. And we're going to have innovation and all kinds of uh, intellectual property originating right here uh, from, from the brightest minds. All they need, all our youth need, are really that, that motivation, that confidence. And uh, the, the, this type of investment uh, that, that's being made locally uh, with all the partners is, is going to get us there. So on behalf of Premier Ford, uh, Minister Fideli, and the entire Ontario government, I want to say thank you for all the work that you're doing to make sure that what we say is a strategy is actually happening on the ground. It couldn't be done without your hard work. And uh, I can't thank you enough for making it easy for the government to take credit, but the credit belongs to you uh, for, for doing the hard work at, at the ground level to make sure everyone is well equipped for a great technical education. So thank you very much.